This morning, the debate over immigration reform is being overshadowed by reports of presidential profanity in the Oval Office. Several lawmakers are calling the comments racist. This as the president today will sign a declaration honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Hannah Doba explains. After coming under fire for some racially charged comments he reportedly made about immigrants, President Trump in a late night tweet defended his immigration priorities, writing in part, it is my duty to protect the lives and safety of all Americans. We must build a great wall. The president's controversial comment came during a meeting with lawmakers on immigration. A source confirms to CBS News that Mr. Trump used an expletive to refer to Africa, Haiti and El Salvador, saying, quote, why are we having all these people from blank countries come here? The president then suggested the U.S. admit more people from countries like Norway. It's an honor to have you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. As prime minister he met with on Wednesday. Republicans and Democrats alike condemned Mr. Trump's remarks. The, the statements of the president are reprehensible. They're racist. Several lawmakers took to Twitter. Republican Senator Orrin Hatch wrote in part, I look forward to getting a more detailed explanation regarding the president's comments. The Congressional Black Caucus tweeted further proof that his Make America Great agenda is really a Make America White Again agenda. We have in the White House someone who could lead the Ku Klux Klan. The Haitian government has summoned the top ranking U.S. diplomat there to explain the president's comments. Hanadoba, CBS News, New York. This just into our live desk, President Donald Trump has responded to allegations of the comments he made at a DACA meeting that have left people outraged. Let's take a look at his tweet. He said, the language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. What was really tough was the outlandish proposal made. A big setback for DACA, so looks like the president is denying allegations there.